because the weight gotta go the weight can't stay i'm it's, it's over fat fat you getting evicted all of it <laughs>
We'll see how long this process takes. All right, y'all. So now I'm getting a car wash. It's loud. But um, I finished at the urgent care and got some antibiotics. So you already know they just don't give you drugs. So that's where we at now. Now I'm finished getting this car wash and we're going to be uh, on our way back to the house. So I lied. Now I'm inside of Ulta getting stuff that I kind of need and don't need. Remember when I was telling y'all that I wanted to do, um, start doing my makeup? Because I'm going to get in here getting some of the stuff that um, I need to get the process going. Y'all can tell I do not know what I'm doing because uh, I don't even know where to start with this sponge. These look cute and good. This one. It looks like a lot of people buy it, so maybe I'll just get this one. This one is $10.99, but this one is $6.59. So I think it's better to get the two-pack because you're basically getting some money off if you buy this in twos. Choices, choices. See, this is why I don't wear makeup because this is too much decision-making. <laughs> okay, so here we are. This is what I actually came for this which is the brow freeze i'm gonna try this out so this is what the basket looking like so far and all this is like literally 60 bucks already Whew, wear makeup this is an expensive taste all right y'all so i'm back it is actually the next day now i'm in my like room slash office or whatever you want to call this Oh, yeah, it's hot. That's why I'm sitting in this dark room. It is, it's, dark, it's daytime, okay? But it's dark in here because I'm sitting in complete darkness. I just got this window open just a little bit because it is hot, y'all. It is 100, I think it's like 105. Let me see. What's the weather today? I think today is like supposed to be one of the hottest days. And yeah, it's already 101 degrees right now, so it is hot. And this is literally like the coolest room in the house. So hopefully y'all can see. Can y'all see me? Oh, but you know what? I got a whole light. What am I doing? Hold on, let me find my my light. I'll be right back. Got my light. Y'all remember my light from my Amazon haul? I'm gonna just throw this up here so y'all can probably see me a little better. If it'll turn. Ooh, ooh, yeah gonna turn on <laughs> is that better yeah that's a little bit better but yeah all i did is i went to ulta came home like i said laid down but i'm gonna show you guys what i got from ulta a little bit closer and all the things i only got like four how many items are in here like five items tell me why this bill was 71 dollars. i think it was 71 or it might have been a little bit more but i know it was 70 something and 70 something y'all i just might not be wearing no type of makeup and i didn't even get nothing matter of fact i still need to go to macy's to go get me like powder and all the rest of the things you need to do your makeup so this is about to be an expensive mission so hopefully i can learn how to do my makeup pretty good at all this money i'm spending but anyhow i got all these products i got one two three four or five so it's everything that you've seen that i had in the basket um i did like a quick little, little pan of the basket i did get everything that was in the basket so i first got this this is the real techniques this is a miracle air blending sponge natural matte finish i guess this makes your makeup matte which is what i like because you see I don't know if you can see but i have naturally oily skin so when i start doing my makeup i want all products that will mattify my face the best and um so i'm just out here just trying stuff so this is what i got you see comes with two beauty blenders it says on the back that it's uh for medium to full coverage it's solution for uneven tone and texture you can use it with foundation concealer color corrector and it makes a natural matte finish so try this out got that and then i got this another one of these this is the vitamin and c 
oil y'all i use this every day this is the the collagen peptides one so i have this one and then i have another one that i have in the bathroom i'll just show you guys hold on I'll be right back Whew. okay so this is the other vitamin c beauty oil can you guys see it that i use this one is the blue sea kale niacinamide i think that's how you say that word but this one i use morning and night i didn't buy this yesterday but these two i use together i just bought a backup of this one which is the collagen peptides one because y'all i swear when i have something good it <laughs> life be like you can't have that so I buy both of these together most of the time. Well, pretty much all the time. Anytime I'm in there, I buy these two together. So people have been, you know, discovering my product. And when I go into Alta, at least the one right here by where I live, they are always out. And I'm like, come on now. So I seen this, the collagen peptides one yesterday, and they had it. So I bought it. And I bought it even though I have another one in the cabinet. But I bought this one because my other one in the cabinet is broke. It's broke because it fell out of the cabinet and the top of the bottle broke. And this is my third one of these because I broke the one. Actually, I broke both of these the very first time that I, I bought this. So both bottles, the first time fell out of the cabinet and completely shattered okay completely shattered broke oil all over the floor and I was so mad but I cleaned up the mess and went straight to Ulta and bought the two products again and then not even three days later I had the collagen peptides one this one in my hand and it slipped out while my hand was wet broke again but this time the bottle didn't completely shatter it only chipped the top so i'm still able to get my product out of the other one but i bought a backup for when that one is completely gone so yeah but these two oils i live by these oils they work amazingly and then i also got this this is the elf blemish control face primer you can see it a little bit closer it has the why can't i never say this word the salicylic salicylic i think that's how you say the word it has that acid in there and y'all know i love that product my soap that i use on every day has that um acid in it and basically it you know keeps your face clear and all of that it minimizes the blemishes and all of the good stuff that we like because we like this nice smooth skin and so y'all know the soap i use well you may not know on here because the soap that i use is on my um my instagram but i will link it down in the description box because the soap that i use for my face i do buy from amazon so if you want a soap a good soap with a uh, salicylic acid <laughs> i have one in my amazon store so i'll link that below and um then i also got this the milani make it last matte this is a uh, a finishing spray so after you do your makeup then you would spray it down with this and again make it last and it's matte i want to you know stick with the products that are going to make my face as mattified as possible and then i also got this this is the anastasia this is the brow gel i think that's what it's called yeah brow freeze brow styling wax so I got this because I saw um, this girl on Instagram use this and basically it fluffs out your eyebrows because I want to do the most minimal things that I can do to my face even while I'm wearing makeup. I still want to look natural but I don't want to have a whole bunch of makeup on but I want to look like I did a little something something you know what I mean. But all of this is not going to be like for sure and done and be happening on a regular everyday basis anyway until it is a little less hot because like I said, it's 105 and 105 weather. I'm not wearing no makeup, okay? I have no makeup on right now and I don't plan to until it's cooler. So I'm not really going to be, you know, in the makeup scene. I'm just gathering all my products and getting prepared and I'm not going to be incorporating them until it's a lot cooler outside. So fall, come on. October, come on. I'm waiting on you. Come on. Shamon. All right, but for the meantime, I'm about to 
try not to be as dizzy because I had to take a nap earlier. I was so dizzy. Like whatever this infection is in my mouth is causing me to be lightheaded and dizzy and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Like I just feel like out of it. And I've only felt like that for like the last like um like two days. I did take like a 30 minute nap earlier and it kind of gave me a boost. So yeah that's where we at with that but i need to clean up this room i am not even gonna flip around the camera so y'all can see because it is a it's a mess okay it is such a mess in this room and i also have some stuff that i need to work on and oh my god I just, it's just so much like I even have to matter of fact yeah I gotta do that right now before I do anything else because I am on the JJ Smith green smoothie cleanse right now and I'm actually on day nine shout out to me I'm on day nine and I have to go to the store actually to get the products that I need for my last and final smoothie tomorrow you know what I'm saying so I I actually have the book right here so boom this book this is not my first time doing the JJ Smith cleanse I just needed to do something because it was getting bad y'all I already missed the entire summer had a whole gut the entire summer but of course that was not my fault it you, back to the injury talk the injuries didn't allow me to get it in the way I needed to get it in before this season came along so again not my fault but for anybody who has ever been like just even the minuteness overweight if you know what it's like to have gained some weight you just don't feel good right you don't feel good at all and that's how I was feeling before I just decided to go ahead and do the cleanse I just felt so nasty I felt big I felt just gross I just felt like there was too much going on everywhere on my body and it's the worst when you feel like your clothes <laughs> are wearing you you're not wearing the clothes the clothes are wearing you and I don't like that feeling at all so I had to do something drastic to get it together because it wasn't working and before the smoothie cleanse I was trying to do everything I was starting to eat right again I was incorporating protein again I couldn't work out the way that I usually do it's been a back and forth mission for about like a year and I was just so irritated and I was trying everything and I was stuck so basically like right now I am well, not right now because I'm on day nine of the smoothie challenge. But before I did the smoothie challenge, which was nine days ago, I was 50 pounds over the normal weight that I am. And of course, it's not all occurred right now. So the pandy, we all gained weight during the pandy, right? So I gained 20 pounds during the pandy, correct? And once we got through the pandy then you know 2021 comes along and in the process of 2021 I get injured right when I'm about to get my groove back I get injured so I get injured and now it's on again off again back and forth with the gym and being able to work out not being able to work out the way that I used to not being able to work out without pain or anything like that so I had to kind of chill and remove the gym the way that my body's used to away and that brought on the regular pound the the rest of the pounds i literally gained 30 pounds within one year and it it enough was enough okay me trying everything and not producing any results i just had to resort back to the green smoothie challenge like i literally like i said i've had this book this book right here i bought this on amazon it's in my amazon store i'll link it down below but i've had this book forever i've had this book for at least seven eight years and this is not my first time doing the uh the smoothie cleanse and it took me so long to do it again because y'all you just have to be in the mind state to want to do like a green smoothie something that's 10 days of you nothing but eating smoothies and was it carrots celery almonds okay you <laughs> 
it takes some dedication to want to do that but i was at my breaking point and i was just ready i said i need to change and right now on day nine i feel so good i feel i just feel amazing like i feel i don't feel i don't feel that gross feeling even though you know i still got the weight not all of it but i have some weight still around my waist that nasty gross stuff feeling like your clothes are wearing you feeling is gone i feel good i feel healthy i feel all of that and um that's what i was looking for i just needed a booster and now that i've reached day 10 i know after day 10 i needed a a jump start to you know really see some results and get in there thus far now that we're on day nine i have already lost um i believe i lost a full eight or nine pounds no i think i lost like 10 pounds already within the nine days i have to go back and i have to go weigh myself i have to actually do my full weigh-in tomorrow so i am in the 180s finally because i was stuck in the 190s for what seemed like forever i could not get out even with all of the working out that i could do um me changing my diet i still was stuck in the 190s i couldn't get out and now i'm in the 180s and so that was my boost of confidence my boost of something my jump start to what i needed to get on track and so now i'm ready to go you know because i have a specific goal that i'm trying to reach in all of this and later on down the road i will have the full before and after pictures all of what i did to get to the point that i'm trying to get to all in a separate like it's a whole rollout so that will come so make sure you subscribe like follow me on instagram all that so that you don't miss none of that and you can find out all of what i've been doing you know when i get to that point to lose this weight because the weight gotta go the weight can't stay um it's, it's over fat fat you getting evicted all of it <laughs> okay all my fat is getting evicted and yes so in the meantime now i am going to start working on some of the stuff that i need to work on so i will see y'all when i see y'all so it's a new day y'all it was 115 degrees today so you see where i'm at had to go to the beach so pretty look at the back and you can tell i'm a spoiled californian because i don't never ever 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 come to the beach this entire summer i've probably been to this beach all of maybe two maybe three times so yeah that's what happens when you're born and raised somewhere but anyhow just chilling right here i actually have this book ray got me this book well magazine best of california because there's a lot of places in cali even though i've lived here my entire life that i've never been so um yeah i'm gonna look through here and see if i can find some things to get into up north and i can record it and bring it here to you guys or that or my um my newsbreak channel y'all know i got multiple channels click the link in the bio you can see what it do but um yeah i'm just sitting here i think i'm about to watch a movie on my ipad skim through this magazine watch the sunset go down and then that's to home because it was hot like when i tell you it was hot it was 115 with humidity today and i wasn't having it even when i got here to the beach it was like what was it i believe it was like 80 it was 80 and that's unheard of at the beach usually when it's hot like inwards when you come to the beach it's in the 70s no it was a whole 80 it was hot so just trying to cool off let it get cool at the house and then i'm about to go home but yeah all right y'all so it's a new day and i'm not in walmart right now being influenced by tiktok so yesterday when i was on the beach i was scrolling through tiktok because i'm trying to use my tiktok more in september you know with new month new goals and I'm over here, woo, looking like a straight Walmart shopper with this thing on. But, uh, how to get a few things, as you can see in here. Oh, 
really a Walmart person. I'm more of a Target person, but here we are in Walmart. Whatever. But um, like I was saying, I was influenced by this lady that I've seen on TikTok. And of course, the very reason that I came in here, they don't got the products. So, have to look online and see what I can find. But this is what I was being influenced to get. This. This probiotic with enzymes, of course, is missing because of TikTok. TikTok is a gift and a curse because they tell you stuff, but then everybody want to go and do it, clearly. Not there. But uh, yeah, I'm about to buy this stuff and uh, head to a few more stores and go work on some stuff when I get home. So y'all, I said I was going home, but I'm in an entire another store right now. I am in the 99 cent store. <laughs> I'm in the 99 cent store because look at these. These are what I showed you guys on my Instagram right here. These right here, look at, I got a whole situation in here. But these right here work. Y'all know the situation with my hands and I have a situation with my back too and I just discovered this up here. So if the ones for your hands work, I'm sure these ones for your back work just as well. So like I said on Instagram, let me find out this whole entire time that I was experiencing these injuries that the 99 cent store had to cure. If the 99 cent store had to cure this whole time, I'm throwing the whole medical industry away. <laughs> okay, because yo, them right there, if you got a 99 cent store around you and you got a hand problem, this right here, I'm telling you, fire, it works. This is actually what I came here for, y'all. At any given moment, you will find one of these in my purse. I get all of them. Get one of each. I love these. They are always in my bag. Like right now, if I open my purse, I have, I think this one, the teal one in there right now. Like the 99 cent store again will forever see me for one of these. It's cinema day at the movies now. Hey y'all, so it is the next day again. As you can see, I got a whole new hairstyle. I got my little space buns going on today. Um, I had them going on yesterday. This is just like wake up hair. I have this, you see my edge is not done. I want to sleep with my hair like this. But um, anyhow, the last clip that you seen, we were at the movie theaters. We went to the AMC theater yesterday for National Cinema Day. I said it so slow like that because I don't know what's wrong with my speech lately. I feel like I can't talk. And I don't know, it has happened ever since they adjusted my wires and my braces. For whatever reason now, I feel like I can't talk. Like, I if, I feel like I can't pronunciate words that I usually know how to pronunciate. And yesterday, I kept saying enema. No, that's not what we went to go do yesterday. We went to the cinema. Cinema. I don't know, like, when I say it fast, I can't say it. I, I don't know. Hold on, y'all. Shout out to Marissa Adonis, though. You doing your job, girl. You doing your job good, but I'm ready for them. I'm ready. I'm ready for these things to go. But that's a whole nother story. <laughs> but anyhow, we went to go see um, Beast. Yes, the new movie with Idris Elba. Shout out to Idris Elba because Idris Elba and those two little cute little girls in that movie did such a good job. I mean, the movie was all right, but it was entertaining for you know, going to the movies and getting out and doing something. It wasn't his best movie, but it's a cute movie to go see. But one thing I will say is the movie industry, y'all gotta stop giving away the whole entire movie in the previews. Stop doing that. Like this, I felt like I seen the whole movie in the previews, but there were some little extra things here and there. And you know, another movie that they did that with was, what's that movie? Nope. Now, Regardless of how you feel about it, because uh, I don't know how I feel about Nope yet. But they did the same thing with that movie, with the previews. In the beginning previews, it wasn't, they didn't really give the whole movie away like that. And then all of a sudden when the movie came out or was close to coming out, you pretty much knew it was an alien. You knew all of this stuff. And that's not even something you needed to say. Like, I don't know. 
just movie industry calm down with giving away the whole movie in the previews yeah but it is a new day and right now you see what i'm doing i am actually editing this vlog right here so after this clip this video about to go up and it's going up today today is sunday the 4th um i wanted to go up today so that way i can get into all of the stuff that i gotta do for next week tomorrow actually is a holiday it is labor day so happy labor day weekend to everyone it is technically labor day is like technically the end of summer even though it's still hot like days after labor day but still it's technically the end of summer and to be honest i don't care if summer is over or not you know how some summers you have such a good time and you just like yeah i don't want the summer to end no that ain't one of them i'm okay and i feel like a lot of other people are feeling the same way because a lot of people on my timeline was just like bring on next summer so <laughs> y'all know everything that's going on with me so i didn't make the body type for the summer so i don't even care what goes on with the summer i am here for fall right now and here for winter okay bring on fall bring on winter bring on halloween season because i don't know what it is with me but i am really ready to have fun this halloween and i don't know why i never really into halloween like that but i really want to enjoy fall and halloween season i'm all about it this year so prepare to catch me doing a whole bunch of stuff i don't know like if you don't follow me on instagram which you should be following me on instagram but i did make a post on my instagram and i was talking about how like going forward or as i get older i just want to live my life like a child and i really feel that way like i want to start enjoying life the way that kids enjoy life because if you notice kids are really never unhappy unless they want something but kids when they're having fun they enjoy it to the max they're having fun they're having a good time they don't care who sees them having a good time they don't feel like there's anything that they can't do like that is the way that we all should be living and i'm about to live the rest of my life especially this fall season like I'm a child okay I don't care y'all gonna find me on all the rides with all the candy living my best life and don't you say one little word okay because I'm happy and I hope you find your happy okay <laughs> but that is that summer is almost officially over I gotta get to uploading this video so that is the end of this video and prepare to see more of me hopefully i can get another video up this week i'm gonna try i'm gonna work on it because i'm trying to like like i said in the beginning of this video i'm trying to be more present and being cautious of picking up the camera so yeah that is it that is all i am done thank you guys so very much for watching make sure you like comment subscribe and share and prepare to see me mo and i hope you guys have a wonderful holiday weekend holiday day whatever just be safe be safe out there and i will see you guys in the next video bye